custom projects when designing a wellness center for the campus. Uh, they've had input from uh, Dean Calendra, Coach Slosher, uh, Bill Sutton, the chair of the USGBC. And we have quite a few judges here representing different constituents. I represent physics and engineering as associate chair. I'm also a computer engineering program coordinator and coordinator for architectural studies minor. Uh, Brian Falcon is a registered architect, uh, lead certified, uh, lead accredited, and he is uh, instrumental in, in keeping our architectural program uh, going, and uh, he's going to be mo helping moderate. So we're going to stick to a strict 12 minutes uh, for each talk, three minutes for questions. If you have more questions, we can do it at the end with posters. Okay. Thank you. Hi, my name is Rachel Lasek. I'm a senior mechanical engineering major. I'm Jimmy Hogarth. I'm a sophomore mechanical, electrical, and sustainable design engineer. Hi, I'm Kelly Bresnowitz. I'm a junior art major with an architecture minor. And we would like to thank you for coming to our presentations. Uh, we'll be presenting first, and these are our conceptual designs for our wellness center. So, Elizabethtown has been facing a problem like a lot of other colleges that um, it's been growing since it's opened, and which means that the enrollment kind of has been increasing faster than the facilities. So um, one thing we've noticed is that the wellness resources are running low, and one thing brought to our attention was especially the locker rooms and the weight rooms and everything like that. So we decided to design our wellness center to hopefully like take care of that problem. So of course our objective is to design a wellness center that follows all the lead guidelines because we want it to be green and earth friendly. So you may be wondering, what is LEAD and why does it matter? LEAD stands for Leadership in Energy and, Envi and Environmental Design. Um, the Earth's resources are becoming increasingly limited, so conservation and sustainability is extremely important. And new technologies that are green are coming down in price every single day. So now Elizabethtown College can go green and save green. So one important thing that we had to come up with first is where to put our wellness center. Um, if you can see, I tried to get it on Google Maps, that we wanted to kind of put it in one of like, between like the track, the um, game, uh, soccer field, and the turf field. So it's kind of in the center of things, but kind of not overcrowding like where the BSC already is. Um, and it will target pretty much anyone on campus, even if you live in like kind of the further away dormitories. Oh yeah, so I think I mentioned all these, but oh yeah, and another important thing is that it's already cleared so we wouldn't have to clear down any more trees and it could also reduce costs that way. Uh, another idea that we had that we wanted to propose for the wellness center was the idea of an additional parking garage. Uh, the idea for this would be uh, approximately three, uh, three stories to it. We decided to build up rather than out to save the land. Um, we decided that the first floor could possibly use, be used for faculty since they'd be the ones who would be mostly driving to and from campus most often. And then the second story could be reserved for um, commuting students. And then the third story could be used for um, students who are maybe in Founders. Uh, our location that we decided to choose for this is across the street from, right there is actually uh, Brinzer, so it would be right across the street from Brinzer. Um, I'm not aware, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but um, this area right here is normally referred to as the garden and actually leads back to where the power running house is. And a nice, uh, nice, a nice thing about this is that most of the area is already cleared, so like Kelly mentioned with our wellness area, that um, all the land's already cleared, most of the land's cleared here, so it would be a lot more convenient and a lot less cost for clearing the land. Um, we're gonna just talk about the, well, our wellness center on a floor-by-floor -floor basis. 
I'm going to start talking about the basement. We decided that it would be three story, uh, three floors, a basement, the ground floor, and the second floor. Um, on the basement, we decided we would have eight locker rooms, three for men, three for women's sports, and then two for officials. Um, we also talked about how we would decide to use the locker rooms because we know that between the sports teams, there's a lot of conflict between who uses what, um, what locker rooms, what time, and who gets the priority and who doesn't. Um, we talked about uh, the fall sports, so we would have women's soccer, men's soccer, and the field hockey in the new locker rooms in the new wellness center. And then we would keep the women's cross country, the men's cross country, and the women's volleyball in Thompson for, the, um, for fall. <coughs> and this is for the winter sports. We would have women's indoor track and men's indoor track there. And then we would have women's basketball, men's basketball, women's and men's swimming and wrestling on Thompson still. And then in the spring, we would have uh, the lacrosse teams, uh, baseball and softball, all in the new locker rooms. And then the tennis teams would stay in Thompson. Um, also, we decided to have an additional storage room because you can never really have enough storage when you're talking about, that, about athletics. Uh, we're always going to want to be able to store more equipment, more materials, um, and uh, we would have plenty of shelving and everything. Uh, we also had a turf room. This would be for like use uh, during off season or rain day practices. Uh, this is better than like the hardwood floor, hardwood flooring that we have in Thompson right now. Uh, sports could be uh, could practice harder and more realistically than on a hardwood floor. And then also another possible usage for this room could be uh, if it's scheduled correctly in a, uh, intramural sports. And then the additional gym and weight room we decided to uh, put in there. This would help alleviate some of the traffic that uh, we see in the um, weight room in the BSC. Uh, and then this is just the floor plan for it. You can see that we would have an ES closet in the hallway along with our eight additional locker rooms along these walls. And then we have their equipment storage and the offices for the coaching. And then the gym, the, uh, the gym and the weight room and the turf room. Uh, and our other drawing, you have, we don't have this separated because we decided that it would be easier to not put a wall there and kind of decide based on need which room needs to be bigger because we don't know how many students are going to use the weight room, who may, how many are going to want to use the turf, the turf room. And the next floor up is the ground floor. Um, we outside had a patio that we used for outdoor seating, like at the BSC, for eating, for doing homework in nice weather, for enjoying the outdoors. Um, we also would have a glass elevator and a grand staircase in the front uh, used for getting between the floors. We would have an atrium with a fountain, um, kind of a Japanese style fountain we were hoping for, for like reflection, kind of uh, implementing some cross-cultural um, spirituality in there. And we'll have additional seating, benches, tables, and the atrium. So that way it becomes a second space on campus for students to relax, spend time with friends, do homework, and socialize. Uh, we really want to have a second cafeteria that would use meal swipes instead of J-Bucks. The marketplace gets so crowded during peak meal times, and we also need another grab-and-go option. And something using meal swipes would help students to use up their extra meal swipes. Um, perhaps it would use some sort of um, entree and side and dessert system with healthy options. Um, different entrees would be available, vegetables would be available for the sides, and fruit or standard cakes and uh, that sort of thing would be available for desserts. Um, <coughs> reduce marketplace wait times, crowdedness, uh, it would be easier to get tables. We also want to move counseling services to our new wellness center. Um, it just makes sense to have it grouped under the wellness umbrella. Um, we locate it in the back, which you'll see on our floor plan a few slides from now. Uh, so that way students seeking counseling wouldn't be embarrassed to be seen there. It would be kind of a private space so that students who are feeling stressed don't feel the hustle and bustle of the atrium and the campus. And we would also move the nurse's office onto campus instead of off campus. Uh, I got a concussion earlier this semester, and I know whenever I had to go over to the building off campus, uh, it was a 
very long walk for someone who doesn't have a car. So having a nurse's office located on campus would help with you know, minor injuries, illnesses, everything like that. Here's our floor plan, drafted in AutoCAD. Uh, we have the main atrium uh, right over here uh, with our glass elevator and staircase. We have our new healthy cafeteria over here with a large kitchen space for food preparation. We have our patio over here uh, for seating as well as uh, interaction. Our nurse's office will be over here with two rooms for exams, so one can be cleaned while the other is being used. Our counseling suite would be back here with room for five different counselors, um, an ES room, and women's and men's restrooms. Uh, the design would follow the industrial look of the jaywalk. Uh, when our class took a tour of uh, the athletic facilities and uh, various spaces across campus, um, nearly all of the students said that the jaywalk style was their favorite style across campus. So the uh, chrome elements, the exposed brick, exposed ductwork, uh, looks very modern. And a lot of athletic students said that they also want our building to look intimidating to other athletic teams. So we want to make sure that it has a nice style, so that way um, it flows cohesively with the other athletic areas like the jaywalk and also is pleasing to the eye. Um, because uh, we moved the counseling um, to the new building, we can use the uh, space in the BSC now for spiritual activities. Because the sacred space is so nearby, we can add on to that or use other, um, all of the counseling space for other spiritual needs. And here, here's our 3D floor. Probably my favorite floor is the second floor because it has the indoor track, even though I'm not like on the track team, I just love running. Um, so the indoor track is going to be regulation size, so we can actually have indoor track competitions here. And it's we could even have like maybe an intramural, like, I don't know, track team or just like track and field day, which would be fun to have on campus. Um, there's definitely going to be bleachers for like spectators or to like put your stuff if it's not like a competition day. And it's a great indoor running option for non-athletes because running on a treadmill in winter gets a little um, Okay, so in the center of the track is going to be um, basketball courts that are not wood, so they can only be used for intramurals, but it can also be used for off-season sports to do other training. Um, and oh yeah, there's also going to be curtains, so in case we want to split down, split the courts, then balls aren't going everywhere and you won't have to be chasing balls the entire time. Um, another thing we've added is a rock wall to hopefully incorporate an adventure club or a rock climbing club to totally branch things out instead of just main athletics. Because I know there are students out there, maybe they're not in the sports, they're maybe into adventure things. Um, also a high ropes course, because that's always fun and can incorporate team bonding. But anyway, here is the layout of our second floor. It's kind of self-explanatory. Oh yeah, so some additional work we did want to see around campus is we wanted the roofs to be redone in Thompson because we heard there was a problem with leaking and water. Um, we want the track surface to be redone because um, it might not be the regulation now because of how um, beat up it is. We want to redo all the old locker rooms so we could use those and so they look a little bit more friendly and repaint the racquetball rooms because I know those are looking a little rough too. Um, these are just some of the points that we decided to focus on for uh, lead certification. You need a certain amount of points to become certified, uh, about 40 points to be certified at least, and then 50 for a silver, and then progressively more to get uh, different certifications. Uh, together, we had our points total about 52, so we would have gotten a silver accreditation. And this is just a list of all the various points that we decided to focus on. Any questions? And we'd also like to thank you all for coming. Uh, we'd like to thank all of our judges. We'd like to thank all of the other students in the class. We'd especially like to thank Dr. W for all of his help along the way. And we'd like to thank Marcus back in the booth for running tech for us. Um, does anybody have any questions? We have a three minute question period. Yes. Um, you said you wanted to implement a track to run meets and all that. Did you include space for long jump, high jump, football, shot put? 
Uh, we left room on the side of the track. We weren't sure exactly which activities would need to take place indoors off season or during the winter season. So we left additional space so that way we could consult with the track team and figure out exactly what we needed to put in there in addition. Thank you. Yes. I have two things for you. Um, had you thought about visiting locker rooms for our opponents that come to campus and might need a locker room to change and such? Throw that to you. Okay, so since um, a lot of sports teams are moving over to this new wellness center, that's going to open up a lot of the locker rooms in Thompson. So they might not be in the same building as the other team that they're playing against, but they're going to have locker rooms. And that's why we want, we want those to be redone as well. It's not like we're getting rid of those. Okay. And what's your second? Second one is the dimension of your turf size field. You know? uh, the basement turf room? Yes. Um, well, we fit, um, use the building, we um, built it around the 200 meter indoor track, um, and we left the space in the basement. Um, depending on how much space we want to use for the gym and how much space we want to use for the turf room, uh, that's why we wanted to consult with the teams and students that would be using it. So we weren't exactly sure how large it would be at this point, but that would be something that would be solved as we move later into the design process. So we definitely have to see which teams would use it and which teams would even be interested in the turf room. But we were estimating around the size of like a wrestling room. So it wouldn't be for like any like competition things, it'd just be for training. We need to move on to the next group, so team two, please go up. Thank you, Thank you everyone.